Hello guys, welcome back and for the today's video I'm going to do a little bit of everything I would say <laughs> So I have the breakfast already in the oven This morning is a little bit chillier so I decided to go with some um, I added some apple sauce and pumpkin spice just to get into the fall vibe I mean it's still summer and we're trying to extend as much as we can but we definitely feel the fall you know in the morning when you step out you feel the smell of the fall I made some coffee for Jules the mesh mushrooms because I'm pretty sure we can can the mushrooms and it said <laughs> I have to read this out to you guys canning mushrooms is easy but the expert now one not to can wild mushrooms because some people pick poisonous mushroom by mistake and canned them up I mean that's the reason why we cannot can mushrooms or it's because of the texture, I mean. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. What kind of mushroom is that? Any I cannot find out anything on the internet that would suggest that I can can these but I know they are exist as a pickled version so maybe I'm just going to pickle it should we just try it and see what happens <laughs> okay I have no idea what I'm doing What's up? I look good, don't I? Yeah, you look good. Except Why? My brand new pants are kind of. <gasps> what did you do? Ventilation, I guess. <laughs> Ventilation. So did you just pull that up or yeah. what? No, I didn't even pull it. I usually pull it on the sides. So, so I was what like, happened then? I was gonna put my belt in. I was like, what are these extra holes? Well, then it's a defect that product. I mean, there's no way it grabbed like that. I know. I know. I mean. I think it was not for that. In, are you going you know, to wear this today or are you going to change it? I was going to, but now <coughs> I'm having a second thought about it. Yeah, think about it. <laughs>
wanted to show you guys the result this was what I shared in my last video so these worked perfectly they are all secure so we're gonna have this for the winter I'm planning to make some more I have some dried mushrooms that I dried in my dehydrator so I'm planning to add more of this type of food into the pantry This is something I've been meaning to get done so finally I'm getting around that. <laughs> Most of the time is not the sewing itself or the whole entire project is it's just more like that I have to pull out my sewing machine. <laughs> I don't know what's difficult with that but this is what makes me procrastinate so finally I pulled it out and I'm just going to take care of this business because it's been on my list for months. I always like to start out with ironing the bottom so it definitely helps along the sewing process it's uh, you can see the result better and it's just uh, the whole entire outcome will look much nicer and more professional and it's gonna be easier to sew so I always start out by just ironing up how and where I want to be the length and then I start to sew and then I'm going to iron it again once it's done Okay, so my friend texted me that she's going to stop by so I'm going to quickly make some coffee so this coffee so we haven't had coffee for over a decade I just bought this one and this is actually the second one we bought it the second time as well because we love this so much and it's made in Oregon so I wouldn't say I local but <laughs> well, kind of local and it smells amazing hmm I don't know about you guys but to me like I don't drink coffee but the smell of the coffee especially in the morning it definitely is just so cozy and just gives me this very very cozy feeling it's home <laughs> I think it's very different when you just grind it freshly because it tastes better and smells better but first let me take off this sweatshirt because we are in the season when we have a very chilly morning and then a very warm day during the day so wish you guys could smile at
you're gonna see me use this machine <laughs> in the future a lot so for today I'm going to dry some lemons and the reason for that because when I buy organic lemons they go bad very very quickly and I preserved some in salt and that is amazing I really love that but I cannot put those into tea so I was thinking if I dry them and I can just grab one a day and just drop it in my water I will more likely to do that because it's just more convenient and it's always always ready to use and I tried it and it worked amazing so once it dried I put some into my water and basically in about a few hours it went back to what it looked like before I dried them and I put this slice into a water so it did soak in there for a while but as you can tell it looks like a fresh one like it's uh, juicy and I can tell you the taste I can feel it pretty much just as if it was fresh so I think this is gonna be a staple in my pantry I'm just going to put these into jars and I can use them in a water or tea Okay, I just moved these slices around I have some that I cut into quarters so I'm going to keep those in this smaller jar and I have some whole slices and I'm gonna keep this in this huge one so I'm going to dry a little bit more well a lot more <laughs> and then I'm going to fill it up till the top and I think it's gonna look so pretty and for next I'm gonna work on this zucchini pile but I'm pretty sure in the garden I have more so let me check that okay guys so this is what I find just in the first couple of minutes <laughs> this is a little bit overgrown everything that is related to squash um, those are doing so well I mean like they are really overgrown and we got some figs as well but the tomatoes guys and the green beans is just I don't know I think it's the weather because the neighbor has exactly the same problem they don't seem to be ripening and right now we are already going into the fall weather which is still warm during the day but it's chilly at night so it's uh, it's still good to ripen the tomatoes but it's definitely not a perfect weather for it so I got some red ones I mean I can use them and can them as um, pickled but obviously I want to have some I was really counting on some tomato sauce for the winter I really wanted to do that but I'm not sure if I'm able to because we barely get any we just started to eat the tomatoes it's just really not ripening as fast as it does every single year this year the weather is just really not doing any favor with that with the watermelon it started out really nice I mean as you can tell we got some my scarlet is late, everything is late in this garden. Okay, let me grab some worms for them as well. We have some dried one. So we made a shelf up here it's kind of cozy so we have a shelf up here with all the goodies and they can lay their eggs over there and this door is a game changer guys this is an electric door and it goes down when it's very dark <laughs> she can hear me talking and so I don't have to come out in the early morning to open and late at night to close so that's very convenient it has a sensor so if somebody is standing underneath then it doesn't go down it goes back up so it's safe for the chickens I'm bringing it yes yes I'm coming they love this thing so much okay now i have to try to take this in somehow <laughs> okay guys so this is the afternoon now and i just can't find this very cute 
I don't know what these are <laughs> but they look really nice I think I'm going to use this to decorate so I checked on my mushroom and it wasn't popping on the top so I checked and it was a fail <laughs> it smells really good so I think what I'm going to do I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator probably I could re can this um, if I put it in a boiling water but I don't want to bother with just one jar I'm just going to keep this in the refrigerator and just use it uh, this week but I'm going to get back to that and try again to figure it out how to can these because these mushrooms I cannot buy them nearby I have to go to a specific store that is farther so and they go bad very quickly so I want to buy a bunch and I just want to can them you have a, you don't have a screw? no screws. I, have a, I don't have a skin, single screws everything in my I have some So Joad made this cute shaft, we're gonna put some hooks on it because I wanna create something over here but which comes handy because this is where we're coming in and then the other thing is this wall is quite empty but I don't wanna fill it up with furniture and things like that because we don't have that many things to store in there eventually maybe the office area but uh, I think this would be a nice station for to get ready like we can hang things like over here I have some baskets that I want to hang I mean right now we have other things for the kids so they can just grab it as we go but it's kind of like out of the way because this is not where we go out to get in the car it's nice for the friends who are visiting us so they can hang things here and over here we have Joel hello we have a level. <laughs> you have a big grown-up level <laughs> he didn't want it to work with my little one yeah your level is like ancient i know but it still works it's good yeah and we want to replace that door so that's gonna be slightly bigger right it's gonna be a bigger door over there yeah that's gonna be two inch two inches bigger. yeah so that's why we're not going to put it all the way but until the door will be eventually Okay, I got your pencil. <laughs> so I got these hooks from Target and I have the same at the entrance. And we went with this golden color because we have black in the bathroom otherwise. But this one is kind of just, I don't know, I like it. <laughs> I thought you bought these because you thought they were real gold. Oh yeah, absolutely. For five bucks. Yeah, exactly. No joke. Fine jewelry. Okay, try it. It's not that. Okay, so how many do you want up here? How many do I want? Mm -hmm. I think it's fine the way it is. Do we have to add any? <laughs> well, unless if you want to hang something. Like this? Yeah, looking good. Well, we have eight of them, so... So eight would be too much or...? Okay, so eight would be... Apart. That would be a little, a little over a foot apart. Yeah, let's do, let's go for that. And but maybe it can start from okay, here. Okay, so remember, we're gonna cut this shorter when we do the doors. Oh. But I definitely wanna put this house over here somewhere, and I already hang this basket. If you remember. If you've been watching my videos for a while and you saw our previous home, I had this in the corner, I have two of them, so one of them I just put it up here just to fill out a little bit. I like to decorate um, things that I can hang rather than something I can put on the floor, although I have two of them <laughs> on the floor right now, but I am going to put something in this one. and. So my main goal with decorating not to have as much things on the floor so it just makes it easier to clean the floor. So obviously I have these plants, these little trees, well not little, big trees, <laughs> and over there as well. So I'm, I'm planning to put some blankets into the, this basket. Sometimes I use it for laundry but I think I made up my mind and <laughs> I'm just going to keep some blankets in here when we have friends coming over and if they are cold, um, I'll be getting the colder weather now. So 
I'm just trying to limit the things on the floor as much as possible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put it up here. Okay, that's fine too. Looks <laughs> good. <laughs> So here are a few things that I'm planning on to use to decorate and this is all from just from the yard like it's the side of the road you can find exactly the same it's just very simple. These are old glasses that uh, used to have some flavoring in there some vanilla flavor so I just washed them up. I used a little bit of an orange oil to remove the tag that makes it much easier. I have some baby's breath so this was something again on the side of the road. Okay, so I still have to figure out what I'm going to use to decorate with, but I'm trying to go with that type of color maybe because the fall is coming, I'm going to put some pumpkins on it. This is something that I find outside as well. So I'm just going to stick it in here. This is something I'm probably going to play around with and then just have fun to decorate for the seasons. This was it for today and then <laughs> it's gonna be mm. so this was it for the today's vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon or i should say we will see you guys soon bye bye is that your phone yeah <laughs>